okay students in all over the world and uh, my students especially in Ethiopia so today uh, uh, we've seen about the introduction uh, to the programming in a model lab so the very first an introduction as far as the lab season as we have seen in the last so there are two uh, command lines or uh, the script lines the ME file script and the ME file function so in my today's uh, season let me tell you or let me show you about the ME file function and the file script so let's start with the m file script so let's the function let's say uh, uh, in this uh, matlab uh, tutorial number three especially uh, uh, programming the uh, simultaneous equation in a matlab so solving by the way such kind of a mathematical equation uh, so finding the value for this uh, uh, x uh, value y value and z value in uh, a normal uh, hand uh, uh, calculation is it's a very tedious and it may it may take time so to do that in mathematics uh, and especially in MATLAB we have uh, 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 the most important uh, features are especially under it so here are uh, the every mathematical equation every mathematical variable is what we call it it is a numeric so which is a matra a matrix value so the x coefficient the y coefficient and the z coefficient so in the MATLAB the very important thing uh, we know is not the, about the variable x y z so the more important thing we have to understand we have to analyze in here is the coefficient so the coefficient of x the coefficient of y the coefficient of d and the output value are the very important points we have to insert uh, to program to find the values or the competitions of the entire uh, simultaneous equation in my lab so and this particular tutorial number three uh, today I will show you about how we're gonna compute this uh, equation in a model lab. By the way, it is too much elementary, especially for the engineering uh, introduction classes as well as the economics, uh, business and management uh, classes. We are faced with such kind of a simultaneous equation. Maybe, uh, maybe the cost function, maybe the the the. the the opportunity cost or maybe the budgeting analysis in terms of y in terms of uh, x in terms of d so that value is solving uh, is making the random values for x for y for d and equating the the, 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 the entire column with the, the same coefficient and then after dividing or uh, in a subtracting one from the another or adding one with the another and we find the first column zero and the second column maybe maybe another value zero and we will have to left with only uh, this uh, the third the third value or the third axis the z axis and then after we find we sum of them together and we have to insert what we have to uh, substitute subjectively for z and we find with the value so this is maybe takes time so in order to do that or in order to solve that uh, we need to have uh, the, the, the mathematical uh, application so which is the very important tool for especially solving the mathematics uh, application is the MATLAB so MATLAB is uh, the most powerful software in order to compute any mathematical variable whether you know the, the, the values uh, how, how we're gonna insert how we're gonna uh, attack the the the, uh, the coefficients of the, uh, the the certain function or a certain linear function or a quadratic function or you know a polynomial function or it may be uh, according to the the, the 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 given equation. So this is a linear function. So in terms of x, in terms of y, in terms of z. So uh, to do that, uh, I have here a, a MATLAB uh, feature. So there is my MATLAB feature here. So this is my previous exercise. And then uh, my, I have to separate my previous exercise uh, from my now. So then after I have to put, I have to bring here. So there is. Uh, let me uh, minimize the size, and then after. Sorry, uh, let me uh, minimize the value. So uh, there is especially. Uh, there is uh, my special uh, uh, function so for that I have to bring here and uh, let's uh, uh, present in XYZ axis so uh, let me do that and then after mm, so there is my function by the way my function is let's say uh, X and Y so XY axis so 
I have to bring fail from here and uh, in uh, let me put an x y axis plane so there is uh, my uh, there is my uh, maybe my with z axis my y axis and my x axis so here so there is so there is let's say my uh, x axis so here is uh, uh, my x value and uh, here again which is my z value and there is my x value here so i have to represent the value of x y z so my first x is in a, a, a one a, a two and three so in the x axis i have to bring here uh, one and i have to bring here uh, 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 two and i have to bring here three so so there is my point and here again uh, sorry but, uh, there is my y axis so there is my y axis so in the y axis uh, i need to have uh, two and three so i have here it is two and i have here i have here three so in the axis i have again a three three and four i have here three and uh, i have here four so there is my function so the price point the x point is starting from uh, one uh, y point is in a two so x is adjoined with this so this value is uh, combined uh, with another function special around here and another function is around here and there are the other function is maybe around here so there is the graph how we're gonna represent this point so uh, there is the way by the way uh, and uh, after all uh, let me tell you about how we're gonna represent the graph in matlab software so after bringing the matlab uh, application here so the equation is uh, this one so there is my equation so sorry uh, there is my equation so my equation is uh, let's say it is one uh, let's say a is equivalent to let's put in here now uh, so uh, let's say uh, now uh, a is uh, equivalent to the open brackets uh, my first uh, linear equation is in a one two and three so one two three uh, the second linear equation is three three four three three four no sorry uh, my third linear equation is two three three so two three three so there is again a uh, closed bracket the uh, enter there is my three by three uh, matrix so there is a three by three uh, scale matrix so the three row and three columns so three row indicates that the first line this one is one two three and column is now one two three so one two three and one two three so three by three square matrix and my output is in a b is b is equivalent to uh, again open the close bracket one uh, one again and in a two here so there is uh, my only column matrix here column matrix is in a one one two so in order to compute the value of x y z uh, i have to uh, represent it just say uh, y is you know, equivalent to uh, uh, you know a uh, <coughs> a divided by two a, a divided not two a divided by b which is equivalent to you now point uh, zero one point five and one point something so which is my value here so there is my a matrix there is uh, 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 my uh, y output matrix and there is my uh, uh, the final y matrix is here again i have to put x is again x is equivalent to you know a divided by two a divided by not two a divided by b which is equivalent to the same so which is negative point five negative point five and one point five so there is the my value so uh, which is uh, my a matrix here which is a and there is uh, my b matrix so after all i need to find the determinant of determinant of this uh, determinant of uh, uh, a matrix is determinant of a is equivalent to so my determinant is four here so i need to show you so which is uh, my determinant so determinant is four again my eigenvector 
inverse of this function inverse of a matrix so this is uh, my inverse function so let 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 me repeat again so my inverse inverse of uh, a matrix is equivalent to this point so there is my inverse there is uh, my uh, determinant value and there is my uh, uh, x y and z values for this particular um, equation for, for this particular uh, function i have uh, find the a matrix the b matrix uh, and the c matrix which means the x matrix the y matrix and the d matrix so to do that matlab is on versatile advantage so there is the way by the way i'm I gonna present to all of my students so the next thing i will show you uh, in this uh, uh, place is uh, what you call it uh, uh, the, the the inverse the inverse matrix the determinant the uh, the, the the x y and z matrix or the x uh, y and uh, z uh, values the inverse the determinant the eigen and that is so that is the way for uh, especially for all international students but i'll repeat again for uh, uh, another students which are especially not uh, clearly uh, listen the, the, the uh, english language so let's start uh, by amharic so here